Hello, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair with a quick hint, uh, not necessarily a solution. I'm sorry, solution for some other time. Um, for those of you trying to repair a sharp power supply board, uh, which primary driver using STR H6069A, as you can see here, and there is a great number of boards that use that going for a great number of TVs, all of them somewhere 2012, 13, 14 maybe. Um, DPS power boards 162, 158, 168, uh, this one is 262, uh, great many, there's another one, the 260, 162KP, uh, with a very very similar, you can see the similar standby circuits on this board, on both of them actually, the standby transformer is missing, and power to the standby circuit is provided through a resistor that on most of those boards is marked R7900 it is 2.2 ohms this is an original one here here it is staying horizontally R7900 red red yellow yellow silver or white 2.2 ohms uh, 0.125 watt resistor that supplies power for the standby driver that goes through the transformer that is on this side. If that resistor keeps blowing for you, um, what you may be facing is a failed uh, shorted transformer. This is not something very common and this is why I'm making that video. What you really want to do is you want to take on the secondary side on this particular board uh, again, this was 262, I believe. What was it? Here. DPS 262 CP. Uh, the problem was with a burnt rectifier on the secondary side. And also, that fusible resistor here that supplies power to the primary side of this transformer was, uh, was shorted. No, nothing else appeared shorted, even though. Uh, the detector IC for the uh, AC 0 point uh, detector that signals the start of the driver makes it difficult to measure and can sometimes trick you on the back if you try to test with a multimeter some of those zener diodes when the IC, this is this little 6 pin IC here let me see that one in the middle of the screen that's marked with leg one that I see makes it difficult and can trick a digital multimeter oftentimes that something is shortened when in fact it isn't uh, but anyhow what you want to do if that resistor keeps blowing and you cannot see anything else that is visually burnt uh, or measure short that is repeatable and reliable what you want to do is you want to test the transformer secondary side with an ESR meter and a good transformer will have a resistance of something like 16 as you can see and again this is an ESR and a shorted one will have that short and that that short causes the primary to overload fast enough for that resistor to burn every time you try to connect the board now what to do for a solution for that this is a customer's board and we will just put a working transformer on them but if you don't have a working transformer you cannot find one that shouldn't be very difficult but it's a separate topic what i would do is i would see what exactly is uh, coming off on the outside and it's i believe five or 3.3 i'll have to measure and see and what is going on the uh, other secondary, which is on the primary side, which is just for power for everything else. Here it's pre pretty much clear what comes, either 160 rectified or 390 from the PFC circuit. And what you want to buy is you want to buy one monolithic driver. Uh, you can buy them on Mauser or DigiKey for something like, I don't know, 15, 16 bucks that has the same input and the same two outputs and you can just hack it here i've done this before um, 
I don't know how well it will work on those particular boards. I have not hacked it on one of those boards. I have hacked it on other boards. But if I don't have a source for this transformer, that, that is what I would do. I would just use my own primary standby circuit. And there are monolithic blocks that output 5 volts. Then you may have to lower down to 3.3 if this goes 3.3. But I think it goes 5 standby. And then the other uh, circuit for powering this will be something like 19. I don't know what it is, uh, finding the user manual, get it from a working board. I will know soon enough once I measure it. Uh, I may put it in the comments, but this is it. If your R7900 keeps blowing, check this. Good luck.